To connect the phone up to the power supply, first take the phone and turn it over. Unclip the base by squeezing in on the side and then lifting out. Take one of the patch leads and connect it into the second port down on the phone. Please do not connect it into this port. This port is for connecting a PC to. Take the other end and on the power supply, you'll see two icons. Plug it into the one with the phone. Take the second patch lead and plug it into the LAN port, one with the two computer icons on it. Then connect this end of it into any of the ethernet ports you find on the back of your home broadband router. Then take the power lead, connect this into the end of the phone, and this end connects into any 240 volt socket, like so. You will then have power to your phone. Reconnect the base, and your phone will now power up. To set your phone up in Teleworker and insert the settings you have been sent, you need to unplug your phone first, then pressing the 7 key on the front of the phone and keeping it held down, plug the phone back in as before into the second socket down. Keep holding the 7 key until you see the instructions in the screen asking you to configure the Teleworker settings. Once this screen appears, you can now release the 7 key. And this is where you put in the settings you have been sent. So you want to configure the Teleworker, so press the star key to say yes. You want to input new settings, so press the hash key. We need to use an IPv4 address, so press the star key here. You will then be asked to put in the Teleworker gateway. You will have been sent these details. Use the numeric keypad to enter these using the hash key to enter a dot. When you've completed putting in the address, use the down arrow like so to enter the screen. You will now be asked to store these changes press the star key for yes. You will now be sent a series of screens which is saving the details onto the phone and resetting it to boot up in teleworker mode. Upon successful connection to the VTSL server, the phone will display the following screen or will log in with the last user's details before the phone was logged out. Simply activate the phone, enter your extension number, followed by your PIN and you will be logged on. Thank you.